the last two points, and that is that if the economy is suffering from balance sheet recession where people are minimizing debt instead of maximizing profits, the we'll we'll, economy will never enter self-sustaining growth until private sector balance sheets are repaired. That's the first point. And the second point is that if you try to reduce government spending in this type of environment, unless you are absolutely certain that the money that you did not, the government refused to borrow, will be borrowed and spent by the private sector quickly, I'm afraid fiscal reform will fail. And those of us in Japan, we tried it in two occasions, 1997 and 2001, and both ended in massive failure. In 1997, we listened to the IMF and the OECD and those people who know nothing about anything. They told us to cut the budget deficit, and we tried that. Well, economy collapsed massively, five quarters of negative growth, and then we hit the banking crisis. Our budget deficit actually skyrocketed, increased by 60-some 60, 60 percent instead of uh, declined by the same amount. And again, we tried that in 2001, we tried to limit the... Uh, budget deficit to 30 trillion yen, that didn't work either because the economy was collapsing, budget deficit actually increased. And so this point that if the government is the only borrower taking the money and putting the money back into the income stream, you have to make sure the private sector is really healthy and coming back to borrow money before government can embark on fiscal stimulus because if you don't, the whole thing will come crashing down.